Book Club. Hey guys, Dan from One Man Book Club here, talking about Wimbrel House. Uh, this is a currently two book series by Charlie N. Holmberg. Book one is Keeper of Enchanted Rooms. Book two is Heir of Uncertain Magic. Somehow I discovered yet another alternative history story where magic exists and is accepted among us normal folk. I guess I'm just on a kick right now. It's really fun. I, I'm glad I'm finding these books. So this is another one. So the two Wimbrel House stories are perfectly sweet, perfectly fun, perfectly magical. Uh, maybe they were a little bit slow too, but not, not a big deal. Book one is Keeper of Enchanted Rooms. Book two is Heir of Uncertain Magic, like I said. Book three is going to be called Boy of Chaotic Making when it's released sometime in 2024. Now, luckily, the first two books have stories that are relatively contained, so I didn't feel any frustration on starting a series that wasn't finished yet. Uh, both books are set in the 1840s. Magic exists and it's passed genetically from parent to child. It's become diluted over time though, so wizards in this day don't have nearly as much power to do magical things as they once did back in the olden days, but it's still around. So some nifty magical items like boats and carriages that travel under their own power, or self-cooking ovens or magic stones that can be used like telephones, these things are all, all exist. There's a nifty magic system that Charlie Holmberg created for this story too. All the stuff that the nerdiest of book nerds love to find inside their stories. Now, when our hero, an author with a tragic and colored past, unexpectedly learns he's inherited a grand old house and the island off the coast of Rhode Island that it sits on, he's thrilled. He's finally gotten the break he deserves. So he moves in with only a passing curiosity as to why this old vacant house is in such great condition. Of course, it doesn't take long to figure out that the house is magic. It's got a mind of its own and it does not want his new owner to leave. Luckily for him, our heroine works for Biker, the Boston Institute for the Keeping of Enchanted Rooms. They specialize in taming magic houses and when they learn someone has moved into Wimbrel House, they send their best, our heroine. She's stiff and proper to the extreme, kind as can be, pretty good with some magic herself, and primed to fall in love with a messy, non-conventional, and slightly damaged author who happens to be trapped inside his magic house. Let the fun begin. There's a pretty diabolical bad guy involved and there's plenty of adventure to be had as the mystery reveals itself. Now, I enjoyed the magic and the characters. I did find the plot a bit plotting at times. I wished it would have moved faster occasionally. I commented to uh, my wife while I was reading that, that these books might feel like the longest sub 300 page books I've ever read, but I kind of suspect that that, that was tied to the slow burn but very sweet love story that develops over the course of the two books. Uh, there's no content, uh, no language content to be concerned with, no explicit content in any way. There's a bit of violence. The bad guy, it's, you know, minor violence. And the bad guy is pretty creepy. I would say 14 and up is about right for these stories. Happy reading, everyone. Enjoy Keeper of Enchanted Rooms and Heir of Uncertain Magic.